Uh, let us take this third problem. Analyze the frame shown in figure by stiffness approach and find the end moments. So, rest of that sketching many moment, shear force and other things that you can do it yourself. And it is a frame now, but unsymmetrical frame, but still it does not undergo sway because we have a lateral supports at A and as well as C. So, how many degrees of freedom now? Looking at this problem here and A is fixed, no degrees of freedom here, no movement and D is also fixed, there will be no movement. Of course, and C you have this rotation and at this point since it is a rigid joint, it can also rotate in the direction. So, the given problem has 2 degrees of freedom which are them, let me define D1 as your theta B and D2 as your theta C. So, with these degrees of freedom, I can show the directions of the coordinates. So, always I told assume in the clockwise direction and represent these coordinates with a circle over the number. So, 1 and 2 are the directions of coordinates. So, therefore, your displacement matrix is now D1 and D2. When you want to substitute back all the values, it is actually theta B and theta C. And other two rotations at A and D will be 0 because it is fixed. So, to coming to this force matrix P now, it will be actually Pi minus of Pi. Yeah. In this case, there are two degrees of freedom. So, P1 minus P1L, P2 minus of P2. Again, these two components are 0 here because I do not have any applied moment at B and C. So, these two we have to calculate because there is a load acting on both the members AB and BC. We need to find out the fixed end moments. Using them, you can find P1L and P2. So, it ends with finding the fixed end moments now. Fixed end moments. I have three members here A, B, B, C and B, D. Of course, B, D is not loaded, so it will be 0. So, M, F, A, B will be equal to M, F, B, A because load is symmetrical on the beam A, B. So, it is minus W is 30, L square is 5 square divided by 12. It is, I think, 41.667 kilo Newton meter. And the next span MFBC, it is also equal to minus MFCB because again the point load is symmetrically applied on the beam. So, it is minus WL is 6 divided by 8, it is minus 60 kilo Newton meter and of course MFBD is equal to MFDB that is equal to 0. So, using these three values of the fixed end moments of the three members, I can find out now P1L. P1L represents the force developed along the coordinate 1. So, there are three members are meeting here BA, BC and BD. Add all the three fixed end moments at that point. So, it means here it is MF BA plus MF BC plus MF BD. MFBC is BD is 0, only these two values we have plus 41.667 and minus 60, plus 41.667 minus 60, it is equal to now 18.333 kilo Newton meter, whereas P2L it is the moment developed along the coordinate 2, you have only one value that is nothing but MF CB that is equal to plus 60 kilo Newton. So, I change the numericals of the UDL, it is instead of 30, it is 20 kilo Newton per meter. Accordingly, your value of MF AB and BA will change. I have changed a 20 into 5 square by 12, 
and these two will remain same. So you got P1L and P2L that you can use it at the end for substituting into your stiffness relation. So before going to relation, we need to find the stiffness matrix. So what will be the size of the stiffness matrix? N is equal to 2 here because there are 2 degrees of freedom. So 2 cross 2, there will be 4 elements you need to calculate. Now it is stiffness matrix. K is 2 cross 2. So to find out these stiffness matrix, the first step is to find the first column of the matrix. Apply unit rotation along the coordinate 1. So simple unit rotation along 1. If you do that now, the deformed shape of the member and all other joints should be fixed. So it will be clockwise rotation. Theta B equal to 1. So it means now theta B equal to 1, whereas other coordinate theta C should be equal to 0. And of course, you have theta A and D are already 0. So what will be the value now? What this K11 indicates now, it is the force developed along the coordinate 1 or at coordinate 1 because of the unit rotation along the coordinate 1. So this is force here in this case it is moment developed, force is a general word we use, moment developed at coordinate 1 due to unit rotation along 1. So since it is a moment developed here and the rotation theta b equal to 1. So it is 4EI theta B by L, so theta B is 1, so 4EI or to be specific let me put the value as MBA plus MBC plus MBD. It is actually the moment developed at joint B, all the three members are meeting here. So for all the three members it is a near end, this point B is a near end. Far end is A, D and C. So for near end we have the equation it is 4EI divided by L is 5, 4EI divided by L is 6 plus 4EI divided by L is 4 and note that EI value is different for different members. It is 2I here and 2I here and I here. That means I need to multiply this by 2, this one is also by 2 and of course this is by 1. So it is 8 by 5 plus 8 by 6 plus 1 into EI by L. This is equal to 59 by 15. This is the value of your K11. So coming to the second coordinate force developed at that point due to unit rotation along 1. So it is again moment developed at 1 due to unit rotation along one. This is moment developed at coordinate 2. So it is equal to now at 2 you have only one possibility that is moment developed in this case it is MCB. So for this member and this is the end we are considering it is the far end for this member BC. So the value is 2 into E into 2I divided by L is 6. So it is 4 EI by 6 or you can put it as 2EI by 3. So one set of stiffness coefficients of the first column of the matrix is found. Let me move to the second column values. 
to get that I have to give unit rotation along the coordinate 2. That means at C I have to rotate this member to get the theta C equal to 1. So here it is theta C is 1, the other coordinate value deformation theta B is 0. And the rest of the joints, I need to fix all of them. The same properties you have to write for all the members, whatever given in the problem. This is A, B, C and Same equations will hold good here, these two, but only difference now it is K12, it is moment developed, at coordinate 1, due to unit rotation along you can just simply transfer these values here. That means the equation, it is nothing but MBA plus MBC plus MBD. That is equal to now. In this case, you don't have moment in the member BA and BD because it is fixed, it doesn't move. So only moment developed here along this direction in the particular moment developed at B now. So this value is 0, MBD is also 0, only thing is it is 2 into E into 2I divided by 6, it is 4EI by 6, it is 2EI by 3, you can see that it is also equal to K21, that is the condition of the matrix, the property of the stiffness matrix it will be symmetrical. K12 is equal to K21 and taking this K22 the last element again here also it is moment developed at 2 due to unit rotation along coordinate so same again, the equation is your moment developed is MCB, MCB is the near end moment here, near end moment is 4EI by L, 4 into E into I is 2I, L B 6, it is 8 EI divided by 6 or it is 4 EI by So I have all the four coefficients now, you can formulate the stiffness matrix and use the stiffness relation now. And let me write the stiffness matrix first. So therefore stiffness matrix K is equal to it is 59 by 15 EI, 2 by 3 EI, 2 by 3 EI and it is 4 by 3 EI. Now using stiffness approach relation here, stiffness relation, it is P is equal to K into D. So P is nothing but equal to now P1L is minus of 18.333 and then minus into minus this becomes plus and this is plus into minus it is minus 60 that is equal to I will take out EI, 59 by 15, 
टू बाय थ्री टू बाय थ्री फोर बाय थ्री एंड योर डिफॉर्मेशन मैट्रिक्स डी वन एंड डी टू लेट मी रीअरेंज द इक्वेशन ना आई टेक आउट ई आई अलॉन्ग विथ द डी वन एंड डी टू ना दैट इज इक्वल टू योर स्टिफनेस मैट्रिक्स नीड्स टू बी इन्वर्टेड फिफ्टी नाइन बाई फिफ्टीन टू बाय थ्री टू बाय थ्री फोर बाय थ्री इनवर्स ऑफ एटीन पॉइंट थ्री 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 माइनस सिक्सटी ऑन सॉल्विंग अब वी गेट ई आई डी वन इज इक्वल टू थर्टीन पॉइंट फोर टू फाइव ई आई डी टू इज माइनस फिफ्टी वन पॉइंट सेवन वन टू इट इज नथिंग बट इक्वल टू यूर ई आई टीटा बी एंड ई आई टीटा सी नाउ लेट एस गो टू फाइंड आउट द फाइनल मोमेंट्स using your basic slope deflection equation mab equal to mfab is minus 41.667 plus 2 into 2 ei divided by l is 5 theta a is 0 plus theta b is 13.425 the moment at a is equal to minus 30.93 kN meter let me take m b a it is plus 41.667 plus 2 into 2 e i divided by 5 it is 2 times of 13425 2 times of theta b theta a is 0 there so it is equal to 63.15 kN M B C minus sixty plus two into two E I divided by six. Theta B is two times of thirteen point four two five minus fifty one point seven one two is your theta C. And the net moment final at B towards C is minus seventy six point. Five seven five. M C B. The same equation. M F C B is plus sixty. This is also same as previous. Two into two times E I by six. Now it is thirteen point four two five minus two times fifty one point seven one two. It is two times of theta C plus theta B. So the net value at C towards B is coming out to be zero, or you may get some fractional values. Why it is zero? Because that end C is on hinge support, end condition, so the moment should be equal to zero. And the other two values of M B D, M F B D is zero plus two into E I is one divided by L is four, two times of. 13.425 theta b and of course theta d is zero so mbd is comes to 13.425 and mdb again mf db is zero two times of sorry ei value is taken inside of okay. two times of ei divided by 4 13.425 includes your EI also here so that is equal to half of the above value it is 6.712 okay so you got all the values you can transfer them on to the frame now mab is 30.93 minus anti clockwise 30.93 kilonewton meter 
एम बी ए सिक्सटी थ्री पॉइंट वन फाइव क्लॉक वाइज एम बी सी सेवेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव सेवन फाइव एन टी क्लॉक वाइज एम सी बी जीरो एंड एम बी डी इज क्लॉक वाइज थर्टीन पॉइंट फोर टू फाइव किलो न्यूटन मीटर एंड एम डी बी इज ऑल्सो क्लॉक वाइज हाफ ऑफ थर्टीन पॉइंट फोर टू फाइव सिक्सटीन पॉइंट सेवन वन टू किलो न्यूटन मीटर टू चेक यूर कैलकुलेशन यू शुड सेटिस्फाई दैट नेट मोमेंट एट बी शुड बी इक्वल टू जीरो दैट इज एम बी ए plus mbc plus mbd it should be equal to zero it will be zero you can add now 63.15 plus 13.425 it comes to 76.575 so the net moment it satisfies the compatibility condition at b the adding all the moments of all the members ba bc and bd meeting at b should be equal to zero it satisfies the condition of compatibility so if you are asked to sketch the shear force and bending moment diagram for this problem you can take the free body diagrams of the members and do it as similar to your continuous beams so this is the problem on frames the first problem of course without sway so since you have a horizontal restraints in the member it doesn't move in the horizontal direction so it's a problem of frame without sway